I don't know how many times you've seen a reboxing video, but you're about to lay your eyes on one. So about two weeks ago now, almost to the day, I filmed a video of me unboxing my brand new MacBook Pro. <laughs> It's a 15 inch, the new one with the touch bar, latest generation, beefed out processor, two terabyte hard drive, a really good and fun time. And I uh, set it up on camera and I was very excited. And um, the reason why I got a new computer is because this one has, it's not on. Is it not on? Is it dead? The, uh, the, this whole situation. I don't know if you can see that, but that is like a like a three inch black bar on my screen because I closed my computer screen on my charger the first week of school. Just like a really good thing to come home from spring break to. Yeah, it was just a really not so good and fun time. Hi, editing Annalise for a second. I just wanted to give you a quick update on the status of that broken computer since I filmed that video. So yeah, keep that in mind while you're watching that that is what I worked with when I returned the computer. So my mom was like, hey, instead of getting this replaced, you know what you should do is upgrade your computer, get a new computer, it's your graduation present. I graduate in 50 days, I'm so excited. And I'll still have summer classes, but I, I graduate from college in 50 days. As of editing this video, it's 33 days, but carry on. So this is gonna be like an early graduation present, birthday present, all of the above. So I set it up. And while I'm setting this guy up, I noticed that there's some screen flickering. But in my head, I just kinda like, my let it go and I'm like uh that's that's nothing like that's nothing it's fine I'm just maybe I'm just seeing things maybe it's just a, a little bit of a, a glitch of sorts as I'm setting up the computer this isn't gonna be an issue right day two comes around and the flickering gets worse ah yes so much worse and I read somewhere that there was an operating system issue with flickering on the screens but that was not the operating system I was on I ended up having to reset the operating system and it fixed the problem the screen stopped flickering however the um, screen flickering issue did go away, but then the next day I was having hardware issues. The functionality of processing of certain programs, such as like preview was the biggest one, as well as the screen just freezing, everything just freezing, me either having to force quit or force power down, or the computer just shutting down on its own. So through a couple of weeks of time, I should have done this earlier, and in my heart I knew that's what the case was gonna be, but I was like, let me see if it's a software thing. And the reason why I didn't want to just return this computer like right off the bat is because I custom configured it online. It took about two weeks to get to me. And I knew that if I was going to return the computer, I could not pick it up in store and I'd have to wait another two weeks. So I was trying to be optimistic and I, you know, tried going through the tech support and troubleshooting and reinstalling the software. And I mean, that fixed the flickering, but clearly it was more than just a software issue. It was a underlying hardware issue. So alas, I unfortunately say that I am going to be returning this computer thing and I will have to le live with this broken guy for the next two weeks until approximately May 13. I haven't ordered the computer yet, so it's probably gonna even take longer. Actually, I can confirm my new computer came in on May 13th exactly because I am currently editing this video on this new, new computer. And I even ordered it about five days later than I was ex originally expecting to, and it actually came in a week earlier than it originally said on the order. But yeah, update, I have ordered the computer and I have it in my hands. And I'm just literally so frustrated. And I I know this is an anomaly. I'm not saying every computer is gonna be like this, but I just kind of wanted to, I don't know, like as I was packing up the computer, I was like, let me turn on the camera and just like talk because I was really excited for this computer and I was really looking forward to it. And I think the thing I'm trying to remember is one, it's just a computer. Even though my life really revolves around my computer, I was editing photos for a client that needed to get done and I just like couldn't edit them on here. It was too difficult with how many pictures there were, how like I've been having kind of speed issues with that guy, but it was something I kind of like put aside. But now that the screen issue is there, like it's a whole layer of crap. So that's disappointing. So I'm just gonna be working with this guy until I get the new computer. It was, it was just hard to work on like those two that like, uh, like a project I had for a client on that computer. So I had been using this computer and now I'm re returning it today, even though it's a day outside the return. I went to the Apple store yesterday and confirmed with them. I was like, I'm 
I'm finishing up a project. I like, I need this computer to finish this project. Can I return it tomorrow? And the manager was like, yeah, don't sweat it. I even went to the Genius Bar and he was like, you know, with how new this computer is, I wouldn't advise getting it repaired, which I also agree with, which is definitely what I wanted. I kind of don't know why I went to the Genius Bar, to be honest. I think I was looking for an answer that didn't exist, which I didn't want to get it repaired because I've had it for less than two weeks. I shouldn't need to get it repaired. I should just exchange it. But I think I was trying to avoid exchanging it because I didn't want to go through this whole lengthy process and be without a computer, but I've got a computer, so whatever. It's just, it's annoying. And I filmed a whole unboxing video and I was editing it. And then I was just like, I can't live like this. Like I couldn't instant alpha on preview. And preview is like, when you open like, just like a picture on your desktop, that app is called preview. It takes nothing to run the freaking program. And then instant alpha is when you're trying to like remove a color. So like, let's say you have a background, like a picture and then there's like white around the background and you want the white to go away and for it to just be a circle. You instant alpha the background and make it go away. This program was freezing doing, the whole computer was freezing. The whole computer was forcefully shutting itself down and restarting without me even doing anything. And I was like, Gah! like I'm so bummed and I'm so disappointed because I was just so excited for this computer and looking forward to it. And this has just been what it is. And like, I'm trying, you know, I I'm glad I'm having these issues now versus down the line. And then I couldn't return it or I'd have to get it repaired. And then that's not like an ideal situation. So at least I'm glad that these issues presented themselves now. I am praying, knock on wood, knock on wood, knock on wood, knock on wood, that my next computer I get does not have any of these issues. I hope, I pray that I get it early and instead of having to wait until like May 15th, maybe May 20th. Oh my God, if I have to wait until May 20th, I'm gonna die. So, <coughs> and then it also sucks because I'm going home this weekend. So I was like, oh, I'll have my new computer and like be able to work on, nope, just kidding, Annalise. Ha ha ha, you dummy. So I'll just be bringing this. Also, I leave in two days and I can't even have, like I don't even have the time to get that repaired, even if I wanted to, but I don't want to spend the money on that when I'm just gonna get a new computer anyway. But like it's gotten worse, like it's solid black, at least when I when it got busted, it was like stripes of black so I could see the file in the start menu, but now I can't see that. So um, it's just gonna make these next couple of weeks of my life really fun and fun and fresh and, and great. But at least I have my iPad Pro. So when it comes to like typing and stuff, I can, um, I can work on this for typing I have a Bluetooth keyboard for this. Also something else that the genius at the store brought up, like which I was like, that's not practical for me in school, but I do have my TV like right here and I have a HDMI cable that I could connect it to. So in the event that I was working on like a video and I was just losing my GD mind editing on there, I can edit using my TV, which might be really weird, but I don't know, it's worth a shot. Who freaking knows? That being said, ah, I guess I should really quick make sure that everything that I think is on here is actually on here. This is why we double check. I didn't, ex I didn't transfer my library. Like a freaking rookie. Ugh. So I've got about 25 minutes for that to export and then I'm gonna take it to the store and return it and shed a single tear and then order my new computer, hopefully. <laughs> I'll come back to you when I'm putting it in the box. <laughs> 25 minutes later, and she's ready to be put laid to rest. Please insert Tapper's music here. That's the one where it's like, bah, bah, bah. This would also be an appropriate time to insert ASPCA, Sarah McLaughlin music. Nope, I did something wrong. Okay. Command R? I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, it's this, I got it. Trying to multitask here and roll my pants. Crazy to think I already had 190 gigabytes of stuff on here. Boo, boo, boo. It's complete. <sighs> you never asked to be brought into this world. It's not your fault. You were a complete failure. But um, now it's your time to go back home to the mothership. Is this where I do the Viking burial and I like push it in a fiery boat down the river or do I save that for later? Well, what have we learned today, kids? Nothing. 
is the thing that we've learned today. This was a sad day, but please don't let this video deter you from getting a Mac. You know, I think I think something that people don't recognize is that any man-made thing can have a flaw, whether it be a bridge, clothes, a computer, anything man-made can have a flaw. So this was just one of those man-made things that even if it was, you know, constructed with a computer or whatever, man-made design, all that stuff, it can always have a flaw and this thing just had a whole bunch of flaws and that's, that sucks, but at least it, like I said, at least it happened early. At least I saw these issues early. Now I can exchange it. It's just going to take me a while to get my computer, but I know when I get it, I'm putting it out there into the universe. It will be a good computer. Thank you computer for serving me as long as you did. You know, I, I came up with a name for the computer, but it never really felt authentically for this computer. And maybe that was just a sign or maybe that's just me being stupid. We'll never know. We'll truly never know. I'm off to the Apple store to return this bad boy. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you in two weeks with an unboxing video for real this time. <laughs> and ideally, it won't be at like 1 a.m. and my roommate will be home and I can speak at a normal volume because that's what that video was. So maybe none of this was just meant to be and this is my chance for a fresh start. <laughs> Well, thank you for watching my reboxing video. If you enjoyed this, uh, I hope you never see a video like this in the future because it sucks. I'm, I plan on never making a video again like this. <laughs> yeah, check out some of my other more happy videos. If you have any uh, requests for me, leave them down in the comments below. All my social media, my Patreon, my podcast, linked in the description below. Otherwise, um, oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will be making an unboxing video that will come out as soon as I get my new computer. So if you want to see that, please tune in, subscribe, tune in. What are we, a TV show? Anyway, that's it for me. Stay beautiful, have a marvelous day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Yeah, I do just own a black rose, in case you were curious. I've, I've had, yeah, this is just something I have. Yeah.